As we think about the implications of Jesus dying on the cross, I want to give you a visual of how Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us. We see that John the Baptist, in seeing Jesus, said, Look, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And I'm here this morning, and I have a brand new lamb, a day old. This lamb was supposed to be pure and spotless, without defect. And back in that day, in the Jewish culture, people would bring their animals to the priest for forgiveness of sins. This lamb right here, the priest would lay his hands on the lamb and confess the sins of the people. The laying of the hands is symbolic in the, in the fact that the sins of the people transferred over to the animal or to the lamb. Can you imagine for a moment that the God of the universe placing his hands on Jesus for us on our behalf? Every act of rebellion, every impure thought, every uh, intentional or unintentional sin in your past and your present and your future on this pure and spotless lamb. And see, this lamb right here has no idea what's going on, but Jesus knew fully well and exactly the cost and the price for us to be in relationship with him. And he was willing to pay it on our behalf. Let's take a moment to go deeper into what it was like for God. Imagine that lamb wasn't an animal. Imagine that lamb was your son or your daughter. Or if you don't have kids, imagine it was you. We know that a father's love is protective, infectious, contagious, unconditional. And we know that God, Jesus was God's only son. He was fully pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him bared his perfect image. He brought him great delight, fullness of joy. And going to Jesus, I can imagine that uh, him trying to explain that he's going to be a sin sacrifice on behalf of the world, on behalf of the people, with the hope that they would experience the relationship and the fellowship that you and I possess. And I can imagine Jesus looking in the Father's eyes with tears in his own, saying, Dad, Whatever it takes, I'll pay the price. I'll be obedient, even unto death, even if it costs me my life, because I love them, because we love them. Romans 5, 8 says that God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So church, let's take a moment to reflect on Jesus, the pure and spotless lamb, on Jesus as the one and only son, the perfect son, bearing your sin, my sin, the sins of the world, and taking it to the cross.